welcome today. This is DF Gaming here, and I am coming to you today about a show, Netflix show called The Tiger King. Just finished watching the whole thing in one city. Quite long. What did I think? It's a bunch of stupid people all around. Ain't nobody in this. this a bunch of dumbasses in this in this documentary. Everyone involved is a complete dumbass. From the animal rescue, from the main guy who did the crime, everybody is stupid. Okay, there's too much stupid in this movie that's too so up in a, in, a, in, a, in a single sentence. So we're gonna start off with the. I don't even know where to begin here. Should we start with the suspect or should we start with the so-called victim? I'm going to start in the middle. My biggest thing about these so-called animal rights activists, and I love animals as it anybody else, is these people who claim they're doing it for the best of the animals, trying to save animals. Are you really doing it to save animals? Selling animals, we're trying to save them from selling animals. It looks like you're trying to stop them from doing the exact same thing you're doing. And they ain't doing no, no, being no different. They're doing the exact same thing that they're doing, except for not, they're not selling animals. So what should they do? They should stop selling animals, right? I mean, the only thing you should be after is them to stop selling animals. I mean, that's the only thing you're worried about. But these people are out. They just shut them completely down all together. And then what are you going to do with all the tigers in wildlife they already have? He's running a zoo. A privately owned zoo. Now, all you gotta do is stop him from selling the animals. That's illegal. You can't sell the animals. But there's nothing they can't display it for money. He's in all if only he if he if, let me let me let me be start by saying this. If only he was doing was just displaying his animal displaying the animals for money. That'd be one thing. He he could he wouldn't have been in jail for all those kinds of That's not where to be. That's that's in the middle of the problem. The beginning of the problem is him going to the world with somebody. He all he had to do is ignore her. Like a bug. All you gotta do is stop selling animals. But then she was interrupting his so called concert concert. Everybody pretends to be a conserv conservationist, but they actually don't do it. They're hypocrites. Plant them in their ears. They don't practice what they preach. He's going around educating people about tigers. But they sh this woman just goes all the way out of her way to harass stock, keeping him from going all the way up doing these things. Slandering them, no evidence that he's abusing animals just by showing them off. It's just dumb. There's a bunch of selfishness going around here. And the thing is, she's masking selfishness with fake selflessness. Like, I'm doing this for the animal, and you're not doing it for the animal, you're doing it for yourself. It's just self glorification. You're doing the exact same thing he's doing. The only thing you have a problem with is him selling it. He shouldn't be doing it. That's the only illegal thing he's doing is selling tigers. Only the illegal thing. You got no proof that he's harming the animals. You got no proof that he's abusing the tigers. He said the tigers were sick and you had to put them down. Now, you're not supposed to shoot them. They're not dogs. You don't just go out and ch -ch -ch, take a shotgun and shoot them in the head in the backyard. That's not what you do. You're supposed to call in a professional to Legally put them down, if need be. First get an examination, then they determine whether they need to be euthanized or not. You know, he's cutting corners a lot. Yeah, he was cutting corners really bad. Yeah, he shouldn't have been doing that. There's lots of things both sides should have been doing. There was nobody angel in this thing. thing. He, angels in this thing. Murder for hire. He, we not sure. It's kind of flimsy. People say they think he set up. I don't think he was set up, dude. He, he said 
plenty of times on record testimony proved that he 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 wanted her dead. He went out the way asking for somebody to kill her. He was we don't know if he really was really going to go all the way, but he, if he really wanted to hire somebody to kill him, he probably would have done it. Been pressuring the guy about his money or pressuring God about why she's not uh, still dead. No, no phone call, no follow ups. He didn't really care. It's like it's, if he, he he just likes wasting money and throwing it away for some reason. The, and pop, man, hitman just the supposed hitman just didn't even go to jail. It was like really, man, you. I never seen that happen ever in my life. Never have I seen a hitman get off on trying to kill somebody. A day in my life just to get that one person. On a flimsy charge at that. And he didn't even go and do it. There has to be an actual attempt. You can't just record it transacting. There's no proof. Let me tell you there's several problems with this case. There's no proof that he actually really gave him the money to begin with. It's just testimonial problem. People who they have an agreement with. To get off on charges, other charges that they should be bringing on to them. So any lawyer or brain cell is gonna say, "Well, this guy, you know, no real proof that he really gave him three dots up for the word of mouth. There's no receipt. There's no videotaping him handing them money. But we could get videotaping him saying and threatening and doing all this other stuff." In the past, so I guess it only leads to believe that he might have had somebody to really hire somebody to go out and kill her. Which I didn't take it seriously then, so why would anybody would come to take it seriously now? Like, but the fact of the matter is, I don't feel bad for the guy. Don't get me wrong. Let me let me the rest. I do not feel bad for him, but I'm not. I'm not happy for him either. I'm not happy for his job, but maybe say don't want to be happy for the downfall of the wicked. Otherwise, he'll turn his wrath away from him. And then he's speaking. You should be, always be merciful. These people are merciless because they are just as wicked as he is. They ain't no angels. They're just as bad, just as evil, just as conniving, just as selfish. We ain't got nothing, no right to be judging, putting nothing judgment on anybody, even in him. They ain't no angels themselves. Whether he's abusing tigers or not abusing tigers. You get all these people who go on TV shows showing off their animals, educating people about animals, but yet you pick on one person. Oh my goodness. The man began, I'm going to tell you the bad, but the bad problem began when he decided to go to war with some random chick. Go to war with this girl named Carol Danvers, Danvers or whatever her name is. Uh, some rich, obviously got endless money for some reason, how somehow got endless money. Her husband, so now she got got all the kind of money to be endlessly going and spending. Oh my goodness! But she's doing the same thing he's doing. All oh, these people, they complain about the other one doing this, that, and that, and then they turn around and do the exact same thing. Like what? What is going on here? Who's gonna take care of those two hundred tigers he got? He would do a fine. Like, I wouldn't say fine. For what we saw, he was doing fine up until he got it a war with Carol. He told him not to do it, but he was too ignorant. To keep, he kept going and kept digging at that wound. And it cost him everything. You, you, you gotta be smart. You gotta ask yourself can you actually afford to go to war with somebody? And if you can't, shut up. I don't care how big a king you call yourself. You ain't got the royal funds in your bank account to back up that king. <laughs> you need to count his funds before he decides to go to war. Otherwise, people, otherwise, other citizens will look at him and say, "Ha ha, you didn't have enough money to finish. 
in <laughs> lab at your mind because you didn't have enough money to finish. And that's what people are doing now, laughing at him because he didn't have enough money to finish. <laughs> the, other, the, the queen had more money than the king had in his bank account to put that war. And he lost the war, lost all the men in the process, and all the men died. <laughs> and he was left bank, broke, busted, and dethroned. His kingdom was hijacked from him. His kingdom was hijacked from him. And now he's sitting behind bars. And he ain't in jail for the rest of his life. It sounds like <laughs> 79 years, but he didn't get 79. He only got 22 years. He ain't ready all of his life. He's only gonna be in jail for 22 years. Maybe not even serve the whole thing. A federal law is kind of weird. You do actually serve the whole thing. He, in federal, if I remember correctly, in law, my criminal justice degree, they say federal works. Federal court, federal jail time works differently than than other. You actually serve all of the time, most of the time. You don't get off early. Well, if let's see, I think you probably got early for this COVID nineteen. Nah, it's, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> people letting people out. But anyway, let's not get this movie is ridiculous. This documentary, should I say, it's ridiculous. It's like watching fatal attractions combined with evil next door, <laughs> like a show. What it went? Pick any random murder show on ID channel, and you have this show. <laughs> uh, it's like my goodness. Too many stupid going around. Too much stupid going around. I'm saying they feel bad for them, blah de blah blah blah. He made it to the rest of his life. He can go on the best of jail for the rest of his life. Yeah. Only for six charges of of tiger possible tiger abuse. And uh, murder for hire and that's a felony that didn't even go through. Twenty two years sounds about right. <laughs> I know. Sounds about the word right in my number. They made it sound like he only serving like a hundred years. I said, for what? You didn't kill nobody. Nobody didn't actually die. They murdered her. Harry Potter didn't even go through all the way. Actually, and, it, and it's very weak to begin with. And he, he had a good enough lawyer. He probably shouldn't have took the stand in the first place. But, he's going to keep his mouth shut. That's the biggest problem. His mouth, his mouth got him in trouble. Overall, his mouth got him in trouble. All that crap he was saying over the years got him in trouble because he can't keep his mouth shut. The only time it's a good time to open your mouth and, and keep moving is when something's actually wrong. Not when you, you just want to wage war on someone you can't wage war on and don't have the money to wage war on. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be something else if it was a small... Nobody who's trying to help protect the animals and do nothing could, but you you really trying to go after somebody who pretty much has the same money, well not the same money Peter got, but Peter got lots of money and lots of backers. He lucky he wasn't facing them. He would never have won that case. But the fact that he, he can't even beat somebody who was not even on that level, but the minute it is, they have all this crap going on. He's on a bitter feud battle with. Him. An epic rap battle with um, Big Cat Adventures of Big Cat Rescue with Rescue or whatever. And then, like, uh, <sighs> it's not like a show you would say, oh, that's a good show, I'll watch it again. It's just technically a documentary to glorifying stupid. Like, just glorifying dumb. I mean, people sign. <gasps> Both sides of the aisle, you got those cat saving enthusiasts side by beside with her because reasons because they legitimately believe that she's been conservative. Just some sympathize with Joe Biden. I mean, no, Joe, some Joe, whatever you can call him, Joe, Joe.
and he was framed and whatnot and whatnot and that there should be more people in jail with him. Like I say, he put it on himself. Most of the troubles was brought on by himself and his mouth. His mouth brought him in trouble. That is what got him in trouble is his mouth. Ultimately got him in trouble. He doesn't know how to shut it. And that's the biggest problem. He got too much mouth and not enough hush. They ain't got the nerve to run for president. That's what I, I knew I heard of him. I thought it was a joke. I thought somebody made that up when they brought that name. I heard somebody was trying to run for president as an independent. Joey. I knew I knew that name was familiar. That's really, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> it, it was really somebody legitimate. This food thought he could run for president being broke. It cost most people a million dollars to run for president. So where he gonna get that money? He was embezzling money from his own business, run fund his own campaign. That's so dumb. You you broke my ass up. Can't even afford to pay your own campaign. What the heck you talking about? You try to run for president. You need money for that. <laughs> <laughs> you need money just to get in the government seat. You're pretty much buying your way into the seat. <laughs> Run your campaign so you can promote. That's why normal people don't become president because they don't have the money to do it. You have to be rich or a real politician and have somebody else fund you your campaign. But but anyway, this 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 is some crazy fatal attraction slash strangers like me or strangers <laughs> kinda I thought there was a spin off of fatal attraction for a minute for a good minute. <laughs> See this some of my spin off from fatal attractions. No, because it's not like the director who directed the movie, but that, but also directed the show. Uh, I, it's like, dude has charisma like a fox. He got answers for everything. Man got kicked out of his own place. Run out of town. He lost his business, so I took it from him. Then closed it down. Didn't move to somewhere else. So I could just just go to Oklahoma right now. Just uh, that used to be the place where Joe, this guy named Joe, had his zoo. Joe Exotic had his zoo. back in the day. And wasn't that the same dude that guy got arrested for trying to murder? Rights, uh, animal rights activist. <laughs> yep, that's the good. <sighs> what is now? The real story is that she, they both, she kind of started the war. He just couldn't. And what's what I'm good about these right activist people? You're not saving animals you're just fighting over nonsense the animals you should be saying are in Africa not in America you can't do nothing but the ones who already captured in uh, captivity but you want them to go let them loose they can't survive on their own they need human help to feed themselves feed them you moron closing them down only creates a bigger problem but in society we can retard unless you got proof that they're actually abusing animals. No sense. As long as they're feeding them, taking good care of them, and making proper guidelines for these animals. Yeah, one of them, they just letting animals way too close to these big animals. They, what happens if something goes wrong and that tiger takes a beeline to one of the customers and eats, eats his leg off. What are you going to do then? And when Joe Exotic had an incident with a worker, lost her arm, 
while working because she put her hand in the tiger's cage. I said, here, have my hand for dinner. <laughs> but this movie, this documentary, <laughs> it's a bunch of, it's, it's something else. People might make a big deal about him being gay and but not and said it that's the least of its problems. <laughs> that's the least. Very least of its problems. She, she that's not even on the list. He had problems with you for that. I don't think But I mean don't you find that about him. But this, he just has a lot of mental issues, anger issues. I don't know what it is. He don't know how to keep his mouth shut. He just got to have the last word. He's one of them kids. I, he, he, they don't let nothing, they don't want to let nothing go. Count your battles. No when they stop. No, when you lost the battle, okay. No, when you lost, when you could have done, should have done, would just move away. Hey, but she lives in Florida, yeah. So she won't go all the way. He at war with somebody that don't even live in the same state. That would make no sense to me. Mm -hmm. That's. I just want to review and tell you my thoughts on the Tiger King, and it was, eh, it was good to watch. If you like to talk about, man, what's crazy? But we don't go. This it's more of a documentary, and documentaries I, I always find fascinating if they're interesting to me. It's definitely interesting because I've heard about him on YouTube and I had to watch it. It wasn't not directly because it wasn't a video about the Tiger King. It just somebody mentioned something about Tiger King in that show and I was like, what? So I had to take a look at it myself and I said, like, oh my goodness. But anyway, it's Dark Flavia. Deal, Gary. <laughs> Signing out. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Share this video and many of other videos that you may like on my channel.